Hey everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood makerspace librarian, Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, back with another science short. Halloween week, so got costumes on, and we're gonna talk about balance. One of the coolest things about balancing is everything has a balance point. You just have to find it. So hopefully with a little more information about what brings balance, you will be able to do just that. Now every object has a balance point, and what we're looking for is a place on that object where gravity can have an equal force on both sides. But how do you find it? With rulers, it's pretty easy. We're gonna start with our fingers on the outside and slowly move them together, and eventually that ruler will be balanced on a point that's going to be its center of mass. An object will balance best if its center of mass is directly above the balance point, where you could have a vertical line going from above straight through the center of mass. The center of mass isn't always the center of the object though. For example, we have this paper butterfly and we've put a little bit of a wood skewer in there, but we've added weight to the wingtips with these paper clips. That pushes its center of mass forward which means it's actually out in front of where the butterfly's head is. So it can balance right on your fingertip. Now with the help of some chopsticks, three plastic cups, and a heavy glass cup, we'll talk about another part of balancing, equilibrium. Equilibrium is where there is an equal balance of competing influences. So we are going to arrange these chopsticks in such a way that each one is resting. At the same time, each one will be holding up one of the other chopsticks. So the competing influences will be the pressure from the chopstick on top of it, as well as the support pushing up from the chopstick underneath it. So give me just a second while we get these situated. under and then over. There we go. So each one is resting on and being supported by one of the chopsticks. And because there is equilibrium, it will hold the weight of another pretty heavy object. Interestingly enough, you have a center of balance too. And when you do an exercise like putting your arms out to the side and standing on one leg, your body is going to shift to make sure that your center of balance is staying over that leg. When you stand normally, your center of mass is balanced over both legs. Men and women have different centers of mass, another interesting fact. Now here is a challenge that will illustrate this. I'm gonna put my arm and the side of my leg against this wall. So I, my arm is sandwiched in between my leg. And what we wanna do is see if I can stand on one leg, this one that's close to the wall. I should be able to do it. I can do it when there's no wall, but I cannot lift my left foot. Or if I do, it's only for a second and I fall away. And the difference between standing on one foot here and trying to stand on one foot here has to do with your center of mass. When I'm against this wall, I cannot balance my center of mass over that right leg. So I can't balance on one leg. So that's another fun trick you can try. You can also challenge all your family members who haven't watched this video to give it a try. One more helpful hint about balancing. If you're going to be looking for the balance point in things, always easiest to do it over carpet or a bed, something with a nice soft landing. So when you don't find that balance point right away, nothing will break. Thanks for following along guys. Hope to see you back next week when we've got another science short.